Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holquist. Thank you for joining me in this video. What I wanted to show you is how to progress invoice from an estimate in QuickBooks Online. Okay, progress invoicing is a relatively new feature within the last month or two that's come out with QuickBooks Online. Uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a great feature. So I want to show you how to do that in here. Okay, so when are you going to be progress invoicing? Uh, generally, it's going to be a business where you're creating an estimate uh, for a particular job. Okay, so it could be a job that's ongoing, like construction or landscape installation. Uh, it could be architecture, uh, engineering, um, any type of job, so to speak, within uh, your business that you're going to be building over time. Okay, or it's going to be kind of a big job. All right. So what a lot of businesses will do is they will simply say, okay, well, this project is, you know, $10,000. We're just going to bill 2,500 bucks, you know, four times. And they, they lose track of, or at least maybe they do it on paper. Um, okay. Uh, the, we said we would bill 10,000. We've billed 2,500 twice. So we have five grand left. Okay. And that's just a, it's an inefficient way to keep track of it. You can keep track of all of that right inside QuickBooks. All right. So the first thing we want to do in QuickBooks Online is go to our uh, account and settings. All right. And when you go to sales over here, you're going to see there's an option here, progress invoicing, create multiple par partial invoices from a single estimate. You want to make sure this is on very easy to do. Check the box and hit save. Okay. Just hit done. All right. So the next thing is after you've created the estimate and it's been accepted by the customer, Okay, you're going to obviously change the estimate to accepted in QuickBooks. And let's go over to sales and we're going to see that we have two estimates out there. So we're going to click here and let's see, I want to filter these to just accepted. Okay, so we have one. All right, and this is to Gevelber Photography, $4,700. Okay. So simply when it's the first uh, bill that you're ready to send, let's say that it's a, a down payment, you know, 10, 10%. You click on create invoice and it brings up this box. So you can do the rest of all the lines. Okay. So this is usually if you're at the end of the job and you're going to bill the rest of it, you would choose this. You can say 10%. Okay. Or you can do a custom amount for each line. Okay. So let's, let's do the 10% and create invoice. Okay. So you'll see here that it now creates a 10% invoice, $470. That invoice was for 4,700. And this is a 10% uh, deposit. And you can put a you know, a note on here of, you know, this represents a 10% deposit. Thank you for your business, etc. cetera. All right. So let's go ahead and save and close. Okay. So now let's say that we need to go back and we need to uh, build some more of this. All right. Let me go back here, click create invoice. And since we've already done 10%, now we're going to do a custom amount for each line. Okay. All right, so with this one now, we can choose, okay, uh, how much we want to do. Okay, so you can say the amount is or a percent. Okay, so let's say that the amount is $200. Okay, and this one is 150. This one is, you know, 300. And this one is 1000. Okay. So now we're billing an additional 1650. All right. And this will show an amount due. Okay. So that's as simple as that. So we're going to save and close this. All right. And that's it. That's all there is to it, to, uh, doing progress invoicing in QuickBooks online. All right. So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, we answer all of those at the QuickBooks University. When you become a member, uh, we have online and desktop QuickBooks training over there that are going to show you everything you need to know about QuickBooks. 
And the best part of it all is I answer all of your questions. Okay, those specific questions you have that you're not going to get answered in a training session, whether you go to an overpriced live training of QuickBooks Online or you do pre-recorded videos uh, anywhere else. But at the QuickBooks University, we have avenues where I will answer all of your questions. And a lot of times I will do video responses specific to your question to show you how to do things. So head on over there right now, qbuniversity.org, and we look forward to seeing you over there.